my girlfriend had me black out the front grill and the headlight bezels. Uh, I'm also planning on doing a, a swap out. The bumper she has right now is going to get exchanged uh, shortly here. Uh, we finally got the new one, the uh, Torx X3. Seems pretty sturdy. Just a, you know, a couple little nicks on the bottom, whatever. You know, I'll just give it some touch of paint. But I also know these are notorious for uh, not having the best powder coat. So I'm gonna take it out back and give it a, a few um, sprays of Rust-Oleum just to kind of make sure there's no exposed areas. Her new bumper supports uh, a couple of three inch lights and a 30 inch light bar. So I also got her these for Christmas and have been waiting to mount them. And the bumper uh, took a while to get here, but now that it's here, I'm gonna really have a good time getting these guys in there. I got a couple of Squadron Pros and this uh, S8 30 inch light bar, all amber. Uh, it's gonna be pretty cool. I can't wait. Now that we have the bumper, we put it up to these um, two finishes. We have the glossy black finish and then the, uh, the super matte you know, finish here on the bezels for the headlights. Uh, Jan agrees that we should probably go ahead and use her old grill and give the same treatment I gave to these chrome bezels. And so I have it right here. It's already been scuffed down and ready for painting. I just gotta get this guy off of there and um, see if I could access the bumper so I could take it off and uh, do some test fits with the new one. So far, there's no rust marks or oxidation, uh, which is great. I don't see any inconsistencies in the powder coat, so that's also great. As far as uh, how it mounts, well, I wanna make sure it's not you know, warped or just mounting incorrectly. So that'll be the next step. There's about 12 of these for the top. Um, I'm actually only removing 10 because, whoops, uh, that's how I lost the other two apparently. Um, but yeah, you don't need all 12 to secure it. It's just nice to have. I just uh, take this guy off like this. Comes off pretty easy. There we go. And now we have access to the top of the uh, grill here. These look like 10 millimeter uh, bolts here. So I think there's like four, two, three, four. It is important to address the two ends of the top of the grill that have these plastic tabs where they kind of clip into the the metal frame here and so they're kind of seated in there you can use a flathead screwdriver um, it's a little bit of a fuss but uh, the angle on the same tool I used to pop the plastic little rivets actually works pretty well too you just have to pull back and just pull out so I need two hands to do that. Just kind of do this, lift up, and then pull forward. And I'll kind of get, get it unseated from there. It will spring back in, so it's probably a good idea to leave something in there. For example, I'm gonna wedge a screwdriver right there so it doesn't seat itself back in there. And you do the same thing the other side. Just kind of feed this in here. Make sure that little plastic tab gets unseated and then pull forward, take a flat head, just kind of wedge it in there, and make sure it doesn't fall back in place. Just like that. I just gave it a good tug on this side, so I didn't need to jam any tools in there, which is great. I'm sticking my hands on the front over here. So I think the strongest point is like right about here, one on this side and one on this side, just like that. Just give it a bolt. Good steady tug forward as straight as you can. Uh, the better you can uh, manage that, the less parts you'll break, like this little guide plastic piece here. Uh, there we go. Just like that. Right on. <laughs> 
Actually came out better than the first one. Uh, the bolts we're gonna take is uh, this guy right here and that guy down there, as well as the uh, adjacent ones like this guy here. And there are a couple other bolts here. I think they're just underneath. There we go. That bolt right there. This guy. Now the new bumper is a high clearance one, so I'm thinking we're gonna have to remove this support bar because it's gonna be sticking out all weird looking. Uh, these require an 18 millimeter socket. Take them off. Okay, we're back. I've got an extension piece so I can get this in here because it's a little bit of a tight fit. Hoping I don't bust my wrist on this. Whew, yeah. It mints me to that one. I freaking love this impact. This thing's a freaking monster. I'm gonna put the top ones back in. Actually, this one's partially seated. I'll just leave this guy in here because I'm going to take off the uh, ones under there and then leave those last so that I can just kind of dismount everything instead of dropping it. Well, the uh, 18 millimeter socket is not the right size for these bolts here. Uh, a 15 is what you will need to take that last one off. So, let's see. I can just get this. There it is. Before you remove the bumper, and I'm glad I saw this, disconnect this because the last thing you want to do is yank the damn harness off like I was about to. Uh, make sure you disconnect that. If you don't, <laughs> you could be pulling all kinds of stuff out. Uh, you don't want to be doing that. It's just, it's just another headache. Do not mess with the wiring harness. Well, it was a struggle and I broke a little plastic piece off the wiring harness, but it finally got it to loosen up. It's so freaking annoying when that happens, but there we go. Yeah, see, more pieces breaking off as usual. Nothing a little tape won't handle, but anyways, that's disconnected. So now we can go to Chipotle or uh, <laughs> we can finish the rest of the project. I got my assistant here help me out. Good. Take these bolts off. And we're gonna pull it out. Oh, got it. Cool. Take this bolt out, put my leg up against there so it doesn't fall. It's kind of grabbing on, um, like on the ledge. So basically we just pull it out. Uh, I'm gonna grab it from here. There we go. There we go. It's still connected. Oh, snaps. So good. Okay, prop it right about there. All right, that's that. Okay, I got it, got it from right here. Yeah, let's rock it around. You good? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I got this in. There it is. One bumper for another. I have to read the directions, but I think these front plates stay or they come off, I'm not sure. Since I was able to get the bumper off, I was able to get the bolt out from the other side where it just kept hitting and plan to mount it on this side then when it goes back in. But for now, I'm gonna take this guy out. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> Looks like there's a good amount of hardware that comes with this uh, bumper, or the new bumper. Probably pieces that won't be needing here. There's uh, fill holes or these like little plates that they provide to fill the gaps if you're not putting any lights. But that's not going to be the case. Uh, we're going to use every port that's accessible for the lights. I mean, these are the, pan the panels here. Uh, like I said, you know, probably won't need those. Since the manufacturer of this bumper doesn't have a true parent company, I don't know what kind of paint would um, be used. So I'm gonna do a test spot right here with some flat black Rust-Oleum and see if I can uh, 
figure out whether that's gonna do it or not. Okay. So I'm just gonna do that and let it dry for a little bit. I've got a 15 millimeter socket on here and the instructions say I should remove the mounting plates. So these three bolts are coming off so I could take the uh, plate off the frame here. There's a bunch of this nasty gunk left over from the stuff that they coat the frame with. So I'm gonna try and clean up this mounting area because this is just, it's really uneven, really shitty looking actually, it's just real tacky. So I'm gonna use a wire brush, get some of that stuff off of there and then give a nice couple of coats of paint. That's already 10 times better. I'll just keep going at it just to get the remainder of the stuff, but that's pretty much the idea. All right, I'm going back to see how this dried and see how flat black Rust-Oleum high performance paint matches with the original coat. It's actually not that bad. It's not too bad. Just gotta throw a little bit of a, a, a very light sand on there just to get the edges where the tape was. But it's a pretty good match for the most part. When the bumper arrived, there was a big gouge in the box and I knew there was gonna be some, some minor damage, but th this tiny little scratch here is not a big deal. Uh, I'm gonna lay some tape across the whole edge to edge here and then paint just this whole back section so it looks like an intentional design. Cause even though the swatch matches in terms of texture and reflectiveness, uh, it, it doesn't match so much cause it's powder coat versus paint. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. and just to take care of this. What I've done is I've put uh, nice masking tape along the edge here, because if I just painted off this section, it would look weird, you just have this random like square of paint that doesn't match the rest of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit this with some flat black for stolium high performance. And just kind of do the whole thing. Nice sweeping pattern, just like that. You probably put a couple of coats. I'm just gonna lay down this first one and then come back at it. Yeah, uh, do nicely. Ooh, so satisfying, look at that. See, now it looks intentional. Actually, it looks like there's a natural fold in the middle. That's cool. I got the bumper on, uh, it was unbelievably easy. I mean, the, you know, the, the mounting surface that I had painted was basically hosting a couple of bolts here. There's this one I'm pointing at, and there's one more in there. There's like two bolts holding it. With the hardware they provided, I had to actually use this guy because I, I did run to the store and did not find anything that kind of fit this size for now, but I will in the future. Um, that's gonna rust if I leave it there, so I'm not gonna let that stick around for too long. But uh, the powder coat on this bracket, the mouse of the bump, the bumper here, you can already see a little bit of oxidation starting there. So these are all things I'm gonna address. I just needed to get it on there so that I could start doing the cutting. You can see when I took the razor blade, I just kind of trimmed the lining here 
before it would just kind of came down to here and then it kind of created a curtain. But um, I sliced it all down to kind of try to match the angular aesthetic of the bumper here. So like I said before, to keep this uh, bar from sticking out all nasty, like just looking all weird uh, with the high clearance bumper, I decided to take it off on both sides because it's really just unnecessary. All it was was a support for the original bumper and this new one doesn't have that. The only thing I had to address were the squadrons because they had to be mounted upside down. So the uh, front lens and um, everything had to be flipped. So that's what I love about these lights is that you can take that stuff off. Ultimately the bumper looks really, really nice. I think it's a, it's a really good upgrade for my girlfriend's truck and uh, she's happy with it. She's, she's ecstatic, so that makes me happy.